PCR in molecular paleontology. Paleontology, it mainly involved the study of uh, some ancient living things and molecular paleontology, it mainly refers to the recovery of the biomolecules like uh, the recovery of the DNA or protein or other materials like lipids, carbohydrates from the uh, fossils or some a human skeleton that are very ancient or some other buried materials of animals or even plant fossils. So it is called as the molecular paleontology and the DNA or protein sequence that is uh, recovered, uh, it can be used to find the similarities of the ancient uh, living organism with the organism uh, uh, now inhabiting uh, our earth. Your first information thi, jo use ki gayi thi, ya jo molecule jo ke extract kiya gaya tha, uh, fossil se ya uh, kisi or sample se, which is very ancient, uh, or that has been uh, recovered from some archaeological site, like human old skeletons or some other animals. Your first evidence thi, uh, kisi living organism se. Uh, that was uh, uh, around in uh, 1950s uh, when uh, some amino acids they were recovered from the fossils or some ancient samples uh, and then the amino acid sequence it was used uh, to elucidate the relationships among uh, living organisms. Isi uh, say with the passage of time DNA it was also extracted from uh, some uh, ancient samples are fossilized samples. Now, the problem is that uh, when we are going to recover the biomolecules from the uh, fossils or some ancient materials, uh, the problem is that uh, uh, the genomic DNA or nuclear DNA, it can be degraded very rapidly as soon as the death of the organism is there. When death is there, the nuclear DNA is degraded very rapidly. And then people focused on the mitochondrial DNA or the DNA from the chloroplast, which is relatively stable. So, uh, but still problem is there that the, during the extraction process, the quality of the DNA, uh, it is lower as compared to the nuclear DNA. But still, people are able to extract the information uh, from the uh, ancient sources and sometimes it is also called as the ancient DNA. So this technique that is PCR, it can also be used to get information from some fossil record. Uh, so far we have discussed that what are PCR, what is the basic reaction, what are the basic variations of the PCR starting from multiplex PCR, RT-PCR, QPCR, or competitor PCR, inverse PCR. So we have discussed a variety of type of PCRs and uh, today we also focused on uh, some uh, applications of the PCR.